What does one say to an ancient Nephilim ghost? I suppose you start with another glorious day in the core. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on YouTube? It's Filthy and we're back with another Diablo 3 video. I hope you missed me. I missed you. Season 32 is still going. I'm still playing. I'm about 1800 Paragon. Uh, I want to get my 150 busted out with the wizard. But today we've got something weird. We've got a season 33 public test realm, a PTR for Diablo 3, which is something that I thought we would never see ever again. Now that might sound a little bit exciting. It's possibly not really as exciting as it sounds. I will get into that. We'll talk about what the season theme is. We'll talk about when the season launch date will be. We'll talk about the Hadrix gifts. I have heard that it's not going to be what we're going to see in game on the PTR, but looking into it, I mean, it could be. Who knows? We'll, we'll kind of sort of see. Um, it looks like they've gone back a season in time, uh, which is a little bit weird for those. But before we get going, as always, guys, a thumbs up uh, brightens my day. Now, the PTR for Diablo 3 Season 33 is not to test anything new. There are no changes. There's nothing added to the game. Nothing new at all. What we're going to do in this PTR is basically it's just to test some Mac compatibility issues. So Mac have obviously as a system have updated some stuff. Diablo 3 want to test out and see whether it works. That's fine. Whatever. I'll jump on uh, to do some recording of footage for like season 33 build up material so I will play it a little bit. I'm not going to go super ham on it because I don't really see this much point. But what we do know is is that the season theme this time around is going to be <laughs> But what we do know this time around is that the season is going to be the fourth cube slots. Now, this is pretty powerful as season themes go. It does add a lot to quite a few classes. Very similar to the open cube uh, that we had, I think, in Season 30. Obviously, all the season themes are repeats now. The one we've just had in Season 32 was, of course, Ethereal Items. Ethereal Items probably overall across the board just adds way more power than the fourth cube because there are certain classes like Necromancer, which fourth cube will be really powerful for because you'll be able to put in uh, an extra modifier, uh, something like, you know, Blood Tide Blade... Getting your Trigul's Corroded Fang, Scythe of the Cycle, yada yada, uh, Funerary Pick, that kind of stuff. So Nova's going to be really powerful again uh, for the Necro. Now also that what came with this uh, in this particular season was actually also the Shadow Clone. So let's go and see if we can find ourselves a pylon. Um, when we click it, uh, we should hopefully get um, a Shadow Clone that's going to come out. These were really powerful, I think, for leveling because you could put the game on Torment 6 and try and like pile on farm to try and hack leveling a little faster. Uh, whether that is efficient or not, I'm not entirely sure. But it was really good for speedruns because the uh, Shadow Clones did an awful lot uh, of damage. So let's just see if we can find a pylon. Ah, right, here we are. Good old Lyrix Manor. So. There we go. That is the Shadow Clone. It wrecks everything. Uh, and does spider corpse explosions for the Necromancer. So yeah, I'm going to play a little, play a bit with leveling just to see if we can do like some Torment 6 shenanigans uh, that will involve resetting the game. Obviously a little bit of cheese. Uh, but as I say, it's, it's really, really powerful uh, as you're doing speed farming. I can't quite remember what tier it dropped off, whether it was like 110 the clones stop really doing much damage. It might have been a little bit late, so I'd have to go back and look at some videos. But a very, very fun theme nonetheless, because we're getting the cube in that fourth spot. Great for bounties, great for uh, T16 key farming, uh, great for you know pushing for certain classes, great for utility, because obviously you can put anything in here. It can be a weapon, it can be an armor slot, it can be jewelry, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that's all going to be good. The PTR seems really messed up because I've actually got all of my current season stuff in here, which is really weird. I don't know why I've got that. Uh, I've got 1700 Paragon, which is how much Paragon I had, uh, I think, a couple of days ago, which is weird. So yeah, the altar is fully unlocked because this is basically my seasonal character, even though I've started a new season. So there's not some, something a little bit odd with the code. But let's have a look at what sets might be on offer and let's talk about why they might not be them. 
so this is why uh, again another reason they've messed the PTR up a little bit because it's got the season 31 starting sets so we do know that these were the season 31 ones so it was Rathma it was Roland it was um, Raiment of a Thousand Storms Helltooth the Talrasha uh, Wrath of the Waste and also the UE Demon Hunter now we're probably not going to get that because it does run on a rotation, or at least it it kind of looks a little bit like, like it does. So let's just grab the spreadsheet, stick that on the screen for you, and we'll run through. So, of course, we don't have any confirmation from Blizzard as to what the starting sets are going to be, but we've just seen that the 31 ones are loaded into PTR. That's not going to be the case. So it's been IK. So if we roll back around to IK, the last time after IK, it was the... Um, Mighty Earth set, and then Raycor Waste Savages. It seems to have got a little bit messed up at some point. So uh, Marauder here has got Yui after it, which it does. But then instead of it being God, it's Natalia. So I'm not sure whether it is on a... I know some people say it's on a rotation. Uh, Yui Nat's Shadow, Yui Nat Shadow, Yui God Shadow, Yui Nat's Shadow? Uh, I can't tell. I think we're probably just going to have to wait for the uh, blog post and find out, I think, is the upshot. It would be nice if it was this lot, the ones from 28. Uh, and I think it, there is a kind of part of me that thinks that it might just rotate it round again because, obviously, there's five sets. So we've had, like, these four in a row. It would make sense if we went back here to Season 28 and started rolling them round uh, like that. Now, if that was the case, we'd have some pretty tasty ones. Gears of Dreadlands, always a really solid start. Ages of Valor, really good for the Crusader. Savage is decent for Barb. Panzer Justice, really good for Monk. Bone Spear will be really powerful this fourth cube slot, so that's a really good start. Mundanugu is nice. Uh, and even Typhon's Veil, the Hydra, really good for Wizard. So I suspect uh, that if it is these, these sets here, then that would be pretty nice because it won't really matter uh, which, which one it is that we choose. We're going to have a, a pretty good time. Now, obviously, one thing with them messing the PTR up, we can't really get any details from it because obviously people are playing this season. They've got like bazillions of Paragon uh, and then they're just going to stick in an extra cube slot. So they've got still Ethereals, which we're not going to have. So all these leaderboards are, are going to be completely useless to us, I'm afraid to say. Uh, but we know we're getting fourth cube. We know we're getting Shadow Clones. I think it's going to be an interesting season. Now, one odd thing, I think... Uh, it's basically going to be when this season starts because the expansion for Diablo 4, to my knowledge, is coming on the 8th of October. Um, I'm in a weird place with Diablo 4. I still don't enjoy it. Uh, I did skip this last season. I think, is it was it 5? Did I play 4? I played the previous season. I enjoyed it more than I did beforehand, but it still really lost my interest very, very quickly. I don't know whether it's the engine, the, just the, the gameplay loop, but I just don't find it fun. I find it more fun to play Diablo 2 Resurrected than Diablo 4. Now, if, let's say, D4 does have this expansion, it is coming on the 8th of October, then I would su suspect that they're going to want to launch this Diablo 3 season um, sooner rather than later. So maybe they'll launch it like the first week in October so that people can come back to D3, get on the Blizzard launcher, blast the fourth cube. I mean, let's be fair, most people just play the opening weekend of a season now, so that kind of makes sense from a hype perspective. Um, there is a small possibility they leave it until like a few weeks after the expansions come out for D4, but I really don't see a world in which they have the two games competing against each other because at the end of the day, it's a paid expansion for D4. They're going to want to sell copies. So I... I would guess uh, that we're probably going to basically finish the PTR next week. They're going to immediately tell us that the season is ending uh, and that we're immediately going to go into season 33. That could be wrong. It could be a little bit later down the line. Uh, we will just have to see. But I'm going to play around a little bit with leveling. I might try and make maybe a couple of guides. Uh, it's going to be a bit weird with all this Paragon that we've got. But I will have a little bit of a play and we'll see what we can do. Uh, of course, I will make some Season 33 build-up content. I will make some Season 33 on-season content. As always, it kind of depends how popular it is as to how many videos I make. It depends what's going on IRL. Uh, I went on holiday uh, partway through Season 32 and by the time I got back, I just thought there's no value in making any videos. Oh, but I have still playing. Still been playing uh, 
a little bit. Right, that's it guys. Uh, I will bring you the official blog post from Blizzard when we do get the season dates, when we get the starting sets confirmed, uh, and we'll go through that kind of stuff then. I hope you are enjoying your life. I'm enjoying mine. I've been the Filthy Casual. I'll see you again real soon. Take it easy, guys. Peace.